hi guys welcome back to another wonderful tutorial with yes truly my wow -y. today i'm going to be walking you through how i made this jagged sleeve blouse with the sweetheart neckline so if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please kindly do so now please thank you <laughs> so let's move on with today's tutorial guys <laughs> So for the jagged sleeve blouse I'm going to be making today, I'm going to start first with my basic bodice pattern and then um, on the basic bodice pattern I'll create my style line that is my sweetheart neckline and then the off shoulder um, sleeve that I'll be using um, that, that is on the blouse of um, that is on the blouse of today's tutorial. So yeah, first things first I'm going to um, put in my off shoulder sleeve so at the middle right here that is the middle point here i'm going to decide um how deep i want my sweetheart neckline to be so i'm fine with it just being on my armhole level if you want more cleavage like if you want more um, cleavage on your blouse you can go down more you can decide to do you can decide to um go as deep as you want depending on how um low you want the blouse to be that is how much cleavage you want to show on the blouse so for me this is where i want um the cleavage to stop so and then i'm going to now decide how high i want my off shoulder to be so right here from the back level here i'm just going to go down by let's see one inch so i have one inch here so right on this point i'm going to go in by let's say um one inch or one and a half inches so let's just do one and a half inches here now i'm going to draw in my curved neckline then from that point from this point here you create your new armhole now and that's that for the neckline of the front piece so now because i want the blouse to like to really be fitted like on my body i want and then i don't want to wear a bra um under the blouse when i'm um done sewing this so i'm just going to contour a bit of the that so from the armhole level here i'm going to go down by 10 cm and this is more or less my um under bust measurement because i want to contour my under bust just a bit just so that um the blouse can lift the bust up because i don't want to wear a bra under the blouse so once i contour the under bust here it's going to lift the boobs up so I'm going to draw this line here. So from each that leg here, I'm going to go out by one cm here and then one cm also at the other side. Then you're going to draw curved lines from there back to your bust point. Then I'll connect back to my um, waist level here. And this is a contouring principle to um, fit your under bust close very close to your body and um, this is the rest of the that so we just decide how long your blouse is going to be so I'm just going to measure my um, blouse length and the um, blouse length here I'm going to give it a bit of curve and this completes the style line of your front piece so all you have to do now is just um, all you need to do now is just to um trace this out and then you cut out of your fabric and that is that for the front for the back piece you also um do the same you decide um the type of um, neckline you want for your back piece for me i want to use a square neckline so i'm just going to do like a normal um square neckline from like from the um armhole level here i'm just going to draw a curved line from here this way then i'll make it join back to the um, all here so it's going to look like this or rather i'll prefer to like go a bit lower i want the back piece to go a bit lower so from the armhole level here i'm going to decide how low i want the back piece to be so i'm just going to do like maybe um, one inch away from the armhole so once you decide that you draw a curved line from there 
so this is what the back neckline is going to look like something like this and then it follows this shape back and then obviously you know you're not going to be um, using this type of um, dart on your um, back you do use your normal um, dart on your back and really that completes the style line of the front and the back piece so I'm just going to trace all of this out now I'll trace this out for the front and including my contoured piece of the under bust and then my dart and then I'll trace my back piece also and that completes all I have to do for the blouse so now let's move on to the gigot sleeve so for the sleeve to start with the sleeve I'm going to measure I'm just going to do this and then I'll measure what I have from here down to my shoulder points here so I have four and a quarter so from the sleeve head here you measure four and a quarter you can just see how I'm measuring it you kind of like bend it this way or you can use your curve driller to measure four and a quarter and that's that for the front and then for the back piece also you measure again from the sleeve head here to wherever um, your off shoulder starts from and that's four and a quarter right there so I'm just going to draw a straight line connecting both points and this represents my um, my off shoulder sleeve so you trace this out now you can see that um, before we trace out now you can see that the gigot sleeve um, consists of two parts that is the upper part which is the exaggerated part um, and the lower part which is like the fitted the one that is like fitted to your um, to your hand so now I'm going to uh, measure what I want the upper part to be so from here I'm going to measure um, I'm doing 21 inches for the upper part so I'm going to trace this out to where 21 inches get to now my sleeve length is longer than this my sleeve length is um 25 inches so from here down you know you would have to like extend 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 this point here to whatever your full length sleeve that is where your um sleeve where, the sleeve where you want the sleeve to end so the rest of this part will be what we'll be using as a um fitted part of the sleeve so this part is part a and this part will be part b so you trace this out and you extend it to your full length sleeve for part b and then you trace this out for the upper part that is the off shoulder bit of your part a so now i'm going to trace this out now and then i'll show you the next bit for this tutorial Then you know that we drew another arm hole for our body piece so we have to do the exact same thing also on our sleeve piece so i'm going to measure what i have here you can use your french curve to do that and so we have six inches there so i'm going to come on top of my sleeve my um, altered sleeve block and then I'm going to measure sleeve 6 inches again even if it means this will go away from the bicep level here and come down a bit So now this is the um, altered off shoulder sleeve that fits um, the body star we are doing that we are making today. So this is the altered one that fits the exact body star we are making today. So whatever you do on your body, you know you would have to whatever you do on your bodies at the armhole side, you know you have to do the same also on your sleeve, and that is what we have done. So now I'm just going to draw in slash lines as I'm doing now. I'm going to continue drawing in my slash lines. To create that we use to be to create um volume on the on the upper part of the sleeve and remember this is all this is still the upper part of our sleeve that is part a and then part b is the other part that is going to fit closely to your um 
arms. So now I want to keep drawing my slash lines. So I'm going to number this slash line so that when I cut it open, I'm not going to get confused when I place it on my or uh, when, when I place it when I'm trying to spread it out rather. Remember to note the middle part of your and this is the middle part of my sleeve. So once you cut this open, you spread it out on another piece of pattern paper or you can um, spread it out directly on your fabric just like I'm going to do now. Now this is my sleeve all spread out. So you can spread this out by any amount that you want. It all depends on you and how much fabric you have and or whatever volume you want for your sleeve. You want it like larger, like more exaggerated. You make it like really, the vo you make the volume like really, really big but what i have here the width i have here is like 30 inches so now you locate the mid middle points of your of your sleeve and the middle point is going to be in between this part and this part because i already marked this part before earlier let me just shift this so you can see so because i already marked this part earlier so i'm going to find the middle points of these two so this is the middle point here so i'm going to extend this all the way up so because I want the sleeve to be a bit um, puffy around here because I want it like raised, I want the head of the sleeve to be raised, I'm going to raise it up by how much I want. So I'm going to do like 7 inches here. So this is how much I'm raising the sleeve. So I'm going to connect what I have here like all the way back to this point here. I hope you understand what I'm doing. So you connect all the way this way and then you do the same also for the other side so now i'm going to add my allowance here because we are going to be gathering this part or you can use your elastic or you gather it so we're going to be gathering this part here back so i'm going to um, add one inch allowance so that it's going to like for the casing of my elastic because i'm going to be using elastic for my so i'm going to add one inch one inch one inch one inch one inch one inch all the way round and that's that for that so all you need to do is make sure you um notch you cut it out straight away so you make sure you notch this part the middle point here you notch this part so we know where we are going to start our gathering from and where we are going to stop so you notch this part, notch the middle part and notch also this part here for the other side. So I'm going to cut this out and this is the lower, this is the hem here. This is the part we are going to be attaching to the fitted part. That is part B. This is the part we are going to be gathering also this back. So once we gather back, we attach to the fitted part. That is part B of our sleeve. So I'm just going to cut all of this out now. Now this is my traced out and um, cut out bodies. So this is, you can see that I held a bit of this part to control this neckline from gaping. And then I already added my allowances. So I added one and a half inch allowance here at the quarter here, half inch here and one inch at the side. And this is my dart. So I'm going to transfer my dart also to my bodice. And then this is the back. This is the neckline here. You can see that I held also this part. I And I held this part to control the neckline here so i added the same allowance i did for the front i added it here one inch here half inch here this is my arm hole here this is my neckline here and this is my as you can see this is my square neckline so if you are using a fabric like mine that is kind of transparent you cut your lining piece um for this but if you are not you can leave it that way and not cut the lining then you use the facing for the blouse so now i'm just going to go right side to cut my lining and then i'll begin sewing
now before i forget this is the fitted that is part b of the sleeve this is the part that will be joining to the hem of the other um large exaggerated part so this is for one side and this is for the other side so i already started um, sewing this i already i've already fixed in my darts you can see so be and because i want to keep my blouse casual and light i didn't and because of the type of if i wasn't using this type of fabric i wouldn't be using a lining for this because i want to keep it all casual and light so that's why i made my darts like this because this um fabric has holes in it so yeah and then i already turned my neckline and did um the hem of my blouse also and this here is my two back pieces so all i need to do now is to fix in my zipper at the middle here and this is my sleeve you know i mentioned i will be joining the hem of the sleeve that is part a of of the sleeve to the fitted part and this is my fitted part and i already joined this i gathered the ends of this and then i joined it to this one and this is my upper part so i already i made sure i sew down one inch here so one inch here to allow for the encasing of my elastic and this is the part i'm going to be attaching to my sleeve so i'll be attaching this point here to the armhole of my bodice so now let me just fix in my um elastic into this so you can stitch this part down and then you keep pulling your elastic all the way to you you get um you get it out of this other end of your um sleeve so once you're done with that you attach this part here that is this ammo piece here so you attach it to this point half inch and then you attach the other part to the um armhole of your front body piece so i'm just going to do that now and then i'll show you what it looks like and this is the completed blouse and then you can see that i already attached the sleeve this is what i was talking about earlier so i attached the sleeve this is the elastic bit of the sleeve at the upper part this is my square neckline my sweetheart neckline right in front and these are this is a gigot sleeve like the huge gigot sleeve the fitted part of the sleeve and the big parts and that completes our blouse tutorial for today guys you can decide to add some interfacing to the sleeve head of your um fabric that is the sleeve head of your sleeve just to give it some structure so you can stay puffed up all the time so yeah do tap the subscribe button guys please <laughs> and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorials you can also tap the like button if you found today's tutorial helpful kindly check out these two video tutorials on your screen if you haven't yet seen them before